Hello YouTube, this is me, Swiss12, unboxing a brand new battery for my Game Boy Micro on eBay. When I purchased this Game Boy Micro a couple months ago, it had uh, no protection over the battery, and the battery only lasts for about two or three hours before it dies, and it takes forever to charge. So um, today I'm going to be unboxing this one right here. This was purchased on eBay from Closeout Warehouse. It claims to be 600 milliamps, which is really cool, considering the original one is only 460. And we're going to be putting that to the test today as well. So let's start by opening this with the karambit. Oh, one thing that's really nice is a big explosion warning on the back. Yeah, it makes me feel good. So, inside the package, we get a piece of paper. Uh, that shows my address, but anyways, shows what we purchased. In total, we paid a little under $14 for it. Again, right there, 600 milliamp. Right here, taped to the side appears to be the screwdriver, which I don't need. And inside should be the battery. There you go. That's nice. They did include instructions on how to do it if you're really, really stupid. But anyways, here's the new battery. As you can tell, it looks a lot better. There it is, the 600 milliamps compared to the 460 of the original. Uh, so we're going to be putting that to the test later on. I'm going to put both of these into the system, let them charge up to 100%, and do a countdown timer and let you see them go down. So this one's been charging for about an hour now, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be uh, done soon. Alright, so here's the new battery, the 600 milliamp one. Just to prove it's fully charged, we will unplug it, plug it back in. You'll see the lights turn on for a second. So to start the test, I'm going to make sure everything is at full brightness, full volume. And I'm going to launch Super Mario Kart or whatever. And leave it on the start screen and set the stopwatch. Unplug it. And start. Alright, so now I reinserted the old 460 milliamp one that came with the console when I got it. Uh, it showing that it is fully charged. Yep. Again. Okay. Now the supposedly 600 milliamp one got 4 hours, uh, 32 minutes, and about 3 seconds. Um... So I'm suspecting this will probably get way less. I'm hoping it's half, but it's probably not going to be. So let's get on to the test. Going to boot it up. Nope. Insert the game. And just a reminder, these are at max volume, max brightness the entire time, and using an easy flash, which are known to drain your battery. So this is an extreme case scenario. Let's go back to the same game. Don't want any other variables. I will be getting two new battery covers in the mail soon, so stay tuned for a video about those. But here's the game. Full volume. 
full brightness. So I'm going to start the stopwatch and switch over to hyperlapse. Alright, so we just finished the test with the original 460 milliamp hour battery um, and the aftermarket 600 milliamp hour battery. So, we're going to do some math to see if it actually is what it is. Okay, so 600 milliamps over 460 milliamps. We're going to get a ratio about how much bigger it should be by dividing the two numbers. So we're getting a 1.30 ratio. Now for the time, we can't. It's hard to divide with the hours and the minutes, so we're gonna have to convert those to just pure minutes to get an easier way to get the ratio. So 60 times 4 for the 4 hours, plus the 32 minutes, so that's 272 minutes for the 600 milliamp hour battery. All right. Now. The 3 hours and 18 minutes, so 60 times 3 plus 18. We get 198 minutes. Now we're going to divide those two numbers and see if the, actu the new battery is actually one or 600 milliamps. And the easiest way to do that is if these two ratios are matching or close enough, then the number is actually true. And if from these it appears to be. So we're going to do 272 divided by the 198, and we're getting a 1.37. So, this number is actually greater than this number, which means it did better than we expected. But I presume that's because the 460 milliamp hour battery is like 10 years old and extremely rough shape, so it's lost some capacity over the years. The 600 milliamp is supposedly brand new. It looks relatively new. doesn't exactly have a manufacturer's date, but it should have been produced sometime in the last year or so, I would assume. So the battery actually did better than I expected. And for 10 bucks, you can't go wrong.